Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another edition of John Amell's Archives, where just as I guaranteed, I'm back for my NFL Week 1 video. Speaking of guarantees, I see a lot of comments out there about, hey, John Amell, stick around this season, you know, stop being a Fairweather fan. Well, the good news is, is that, like I've been telling you guys, I have big news about John Amell's Archives. It goes way beyond the Philadelphia Eagles and the Super Bowl and the NFL. Um, I'm looking to take this thing to a whole nother level and in, incorporate other subject matter and categories going forward. So not only will I not be going anywhere, but you're going to be getting a whole lot more of me than you guys bargained for. Now, the big news is is that um, hopefully this should be the last video done in this kind of format. And what I mean by that is starting next week, um, if not the week after, but I'm thinking it's going to be next week, John Ammo is going live with an internet radio talk show two-hour time slot per day. I'm not sure of the exact specifics yet, so I'll probably have to do another video updating everybody about that. But the big news is is that all you guys for the last five years who think I'm full of shit or the, the few guys out there that actually like me, all you guys who have been wanting to tell me to go fuck myself for the last five years, well, now all you have to do is dial the number and you could tell me whatever you want to tell me. So what we're going to do with these videos now, it's going to be pretty big news. It's going to be taking place back here. And I'm going to, I've am going i already got the equipment. We're green screening my apartment, me and a couple of my cohorts who you shall see in the very near future. We're going to green screen my apartment and they're going to be like ESPN style videos. So maybe one or two more videos in this old format. But you guys know for a long time I've been wanting to update the quality of my videos. And now I have the means and the platform to do it. So we're going to have uh, you know, guests that call in. We're going to have live guests eventually when we get the ball rolling. Uh, and, and what we're going to do is we're going to tape everything. Uh, we're going we're gonna to video record everything. And then right after the, the broadcast, we're going to upload it onto my YouTube channel um, you know, to, to hopefully link the two together and take the whole thing, you know, to another level. So I'm really hoping this thing takes off. Basically, I'm just waiting on my, a, a new hard drive that's coming in uh, for some, some souped up equipment. So uh, hopefully that'll be here soon. If there's some quality issues with this video as far as like microphone and, and, and lag time, this will be the last one. I'm, I'm using this laptop, which is, you know, neither here nor there. So that's the big news. I will keep you updated. Uh, now, let's get on to the NFL. So, you know, I'm hearing a lot of Dallas Cowboy fans talk already because they beat the av the very average 9-7 uh, and seven backdoor into the playoff New York Giants. Big deal. Uh, you, neither of you guys are doing anything this year. This year, and, and it's so perfect that I, I really believe the Eagles are going to the Super Bowl this year because I can play my gimmick up so well. Because when the Eagles aren't going to go to the Super Bowl, John Amell is in a funk. But I'm going to tell you guys something right now. Not only am I going to predict, not only am I going to predict the week one games, but I'm also going to tell you about the records next year. And the Philadelphia Eagles are finishing 12 and 4. You heard it right. You heard it here first. 12 and 4 Philadelphia Eagles. So um, I got the Eagles on a trouncing victory this Sunday over the Cleveland Browns 33 to 14. I got the Indianapolis Colts upsetting the Chicago Bears. I like the Colts this year. I like uh, Andrew Luck. I don't think they're going to take that, that far of a step back. Colts over the Bears in an upset. Uh, Lions over the Rams at Detroit. The Lions are going to be a beast this year. Uh, look for them to win 11 games. I'll get into that in a second. The Patriots are going to beat the Titans. And the Falcons are going to go into Kansas City and beat the Chiefs. Um, the Vikings are going to win at home against a possibly uh, MJD-less Jacksonville Jaguar squad. Although this won't be starting, I don't think. Uh, the Saints are going to roll over the Redskins, not expecting much from those guys this year. Sorry, sorry, Skins fans. Uh, Jets over the Bills. Uh, I do believe the hype that the Jets are falling apart, but they should still be able to take the Bills at home. Uh, Texans. I look for the Texans to be a very good football team this year. Uh, they are going to beat the Dolphins pretty handedly at home. Um, 
Green Bay Packers are going to pretty handedly as well beat the San Francisco 49ers, a very overrated team in their own right who should land back to planet Earth this season. However, they are in a very banged up, depleted NFC West, so they should still probably win that division, unfortunately. Uh, I look for a big year from the Carolina Panthers and Cam Newton. I'm looking for them to go to the playoffs and win the division. As a matter of fact, with the Saints head coach out and with the Falcons, I think, underachieving this year, I, I believe the Carolina Panthers are going to step up. They're going to beat the Bucks on Sunday. Uh, Pittsburgh Steelers, I got over the Denver Broncos. I'm not really buying into the Peyton Manning hype, although I do think the Broncos will win the division just because another case of a lot of mediocre football teams. And then finally, Monday night, I like the Raiders in Oakland over the Chargers. And again, a very, very mediocre NFC, AFC West. Excuse me. Now, on really quickly to my predictions on the season. So, I got the Eagles winning 12 games. Got them going 12-4. and four. Um, Not really worried about anything else. I think, and I can honestly say that I'm not being a homer here. Uh, Mike Golick and uh, Little Mike, what's his last name, Greenberg, both picked the Eagles to go to the Super Bowl, so I'm not by myself on this. Eagles will go 12-4. and four. The Cowboys will go 9-7. and seven. The Giants will go 8-8. Eight and eight. And the other team in the division will go 6-10. and 10. The only other team to win 12 games in the NFC will be the Green Bay Packers at 12-4, and four, followed by the Detroit Lions at 11-5. and five. The Bears are overrated, and they will go 7-9 this season. The Vikings, 5-11, rounding out the NFC North. The Carolina Panthers will win the, the NFC South with a 10-6 football record. The Saints will also have 10 wins, but they'll get in on the wild card. Falcons will go 8-8, eight and, eight, and the Bucks will finish up 6-10. Moving on to the West, 49ers a bit overrated, but they'll still win 10 games. The Seattle Seahawks will go 8-8. Eight and eight. Arizona Cardinals, 7-9, followed by the lowly Rams rat rounding out the division at 4-12. Over in the AFC, I have the New England Patriots going 11-5. The Jets are going to fall off the ledge, going 7-9, followed by the Bills, 6-10, by the lowly Dolphins, who will win three or four games this upcoming season. The AFC North, I have the Baltimore Ravens going 11-5, followed by the Steelers uh, locking up a wild card berth at 10-6. The Bengals will go 9-7, followed by the lowly Browns at 6-10. AFC South, the Texans will win the division going 11-5. The Colts will not be as bad as people are expecting. They will go 9-7. Andrew Luck will win nine games his first year. The Titans will go 7-9. And the Jaguars will finish 5-11. Finally, the AFC West. I have a three teams winning nine games each between the Broncos, Chargers, and Raiders. The Broncos will win the division on however they're going to win the division. 9-7, 9-7, 9-7. The Chiefs will go 7-9. And, and that is John Amos NFL Week 1 preview. So, hey, Dallas Cowboy fans, by the way, if you got a problem with what I'm saying about your shit, sucky team, well then guess what? When John Ammo's live interactive radio show goes next week, you could call in and tell me whatever you want to tell me. Sounds good to me. By the way, don't buy this game. It's highly overrated, and it's very addictive, and I lost last night playing Michael Vick, throwing five picks online. This is John Ammo. This has been The Archives, and I thank you for tuning in.